Welcome to the Speak Uneasy podcast. Please support my show by like, share, and subscribing to the show. You can find my videos on BitChute, Rumble, and YouTube. Catch my live stream shows on the foxhole.app or pilled.net. Follow my social media on the speakuneasy.tv, pilled.net, Gab, Facebook, Instagram, and Clout Hub. You can also financially support the show by donating to my PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, or visit my merchandise store or join my subscribe star. You can also financially support the show by donating gold pills via the foxhole.app or pilled.net. All links can be found on the description box. Thank you and welcome to the bar. Welcome to the Speak Uneasy, a safe space where cancel culture does not exist because we are in a different prohibition era. Good evening, and welcome to another episode of the Speak Uneasy with your host, the bartender. Tonight's random read is going to come off of the book of John, chapter 14, verses 5 through 14. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said, Unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but that, but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and, and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, shew us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father, and how saith thou then, Shew us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth in me, the works that I I do, shall he do also. The greater works that these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Once again, this random read comes from the book of John, chapter 14, verses 5 through 14. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Okay, so here's my take on today's random read. This was very difficult for me to read. The reading itself was difficult because of the English that's that's being spoken here. It's it's just rough for me to read that. Um but I understand what I I, I totally understand what the message is. I think what he's explaining to, to, to Philip is that Jesus is the Father and the Father is Jesus. They're, they're, both, they're both in one. But, but I, I can go deeper and say that I think, I think Jesus is the Holy Trinity, which is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And he's trying to explain that to Philip. 
and they still don't understand that. So I I think that's what the Lord's trying to explain to to us is that he is the father the son and the holy spirit but in this in this particular read he was saying that he is the father and the son and he is the son and the father at the same time so that's i mean that's that's what i can gather from this read um like i said uh it's hard for me to decipher things sometimes because for one i'm not really articulate for two, I'm not a college educated person. I'm a very, my mind works very simply. So I understood what, 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 what was being said here, but the reading was just kind of rough for me. So that's the random read. So for tonight's cocktail, I decided that we were going to make a cocktail inspired by the movie the shining and um the reason why i picked such a cocktail was because yesterday i was on my live show on my live podcast show i i wanted to see what happened a hundred years on the fourth of july uh in the past i wanted i wanted to uh, i was researching what happened a hundred years ago and i it, nothing in particular came up except the movie the shining and the reason why that movie popped up so much on my search for july 4th 1921 was because i guess at the end mind you i've never seen the movie the shining which is probably a mind blower because it's a very it's what 1980 and it's 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 probably one of the most popular movies out there um that has a cult following. But anyways, the reason why I, 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 I'm I making a cocktail inspired by The Shining is because at the end of the movie, um, I guess there was a photo of the, the main character, Jack Torrance, who was in the photo. And I guess, I guess according to the movie or what people say about the movie is that the hotel in itself was uh, it, it was one of these places where where bad stuff would usually happen and his character jack torrance was i, I can't even explain what i'm explaining right now um he's okay if you know the if you know the song hotel california I'm I'm just going to make it simple. Listen to the song Hotel California and you'll get what I mean when I'm talking about The Shining. And the main character Jack Torrance um he seems to be reincarnated spiritually to do uh, stuff in the hotel that I guess happened um I don't know, killing people. I don't know where I'm going with this, man. I'm just trying to make a drink, okay? Anyways, let's just go ahead and get to the drink right now. Let's just get to the drink because this is this is just too much brain work for me just to make a cocktail. Jeez. Okay, so we're going to start off we are going to start off by pouring an ounce and <laughs> And I'm sorry. I mean, I try to explain, but man, it's just just too much work for me to explain. It's 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 difficult, you know. I mean, I'm just trying to make a drink, dude. I'm not trying to oh, be a movie critic or anything like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put here in the shaker uh, about an ounce of uh, bourbon. And for tonight's bourbon that we're using, we're using Russell Reserve's uh, single barrel bourbon. So let's go ahead and put that in the shaker. Got one uh, one ounce of bourbon in there. Next, we're going to put two dashes of um, aromatic bitters. And the aromatic bitters that I'm using tonight is Angostura aromatic bitters. So let's do... 
couple dashes in there. We've got put two two dashes of aromatic bitters in there. Now here's a throw off. And here's a throw off of the whole cocktail. Uh, apparently, the cocktail was inspired by the movie The Shining, and the people who made this drink was by David Salmonson and Leslie Jacob Salmonson, who wrote the book 12, uh, 12 Bottle Bar. I do have this book. Uh, I've had this book for years, and I still haven't read it, but um, I guess uh, it got inspired. This cocktail got inspired by that movie, and let me explain why. It's because of one of the ingredients that there, that that's be, that we're going to be using tonight. So I have here with me. I have here with me uh, some homemade um, advocat, homemade advocat, and it's kind of weird to be making this in the middle of summer because this thing is like uh, I want to say it's kind of like an eggnog. It's kind of like eggnog, but um, I I have some homemade advocat here, and. We're gonna we're gonna mix it up with the with the ingredients here. So I put um, one ounce of bourbon inside, two dashes of aromatic bitters. Now we're gonna put three ounces of this avocado that I made. It's very thick and it's very viscous. Um, and like I said, the reason why I made this cocktail today was because. I, you know, I tried to, to do the research yesterday about uh, what happened in 1921 for the 4th of July because I had a live show yesterday and I wanted to, you know, I wanted to do something cool and like, you know, like a highlight of, um, of what happened 100 years back, especially being that the 1920s was um, Prohibition era, right? So... You know, I try to I try to make it that you know. I try to make it themed on my the name of my show too, the Speak Uneasy, right? Because um, um, <laughs> it's the Prohibition era. I don't, I don't know, man. Okay, so I have three ounces of the Advocat in there, and um, this thing. Oh man, it's a very boozy and thick. I mean, the best way to describe this thing, it's like it's 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 like it's like eggnog, dude. It's, it's like egg, like a boozy eggnog because the the uh, the when you make it, you put a lot of brandy in there. So, okay. All right, all right. So now we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and put ice inside the shaker because um, we're going to shake this bad boy up. We're going to shake this bad boy up. Man, but I tell you, man, that ovo the avocado tastes really, really good. All right, let's put this in the shaker, or let's close the shaker. Let's put this in. We already put it in the shaker. What am I talking about? Okay, so it's in the shaker. Now we're gonna shake it up. We gotta shake this thing up real good because of the advocat. It's very thick. All right, I had I I'd already have my um, rocks glass chilled, so I'm gonna pour out the ice and the water <clears throat> out of it. Just 
Just make sure that there's no, you know, try to get as much water out, out of the glass as you can. So we're not going to strain this thing. We're just going to pour everything in there. Everything is going to go inside the glass with the ice and everything. So as soon as I get this dang thing off, I'll be able to pour it in there. All right, no need for garnish, no need for anything. Here's the moment of truth. This is the first time I've tried this cocktail. And and we'll see. We'll see how this tastes. I mean, it smells Christmassy. It smells like it smells like um eggnog. Okay, well, here we go. We're going let's try it out. Whoa. Oh man. Mm. Very eggnoggish, man. Very, very eggnoggish. It's good. Mm. That's good. Oh man. This is a great cocktail. This is going to be a creeper too. You keep drinking this thing, it's going to creep up on you. Like you you can't tell. You just can't tell. I mean, yeah, you you taste the alcohol, but Mm. Mm. Man. That is great. That is very good. I might make me another one. Sheesh. Mm. Well, there you go. Inspired by the movie The Shining. The Jack Torrance. Cheers. And on to the show. So, as we do here at the bar, we are going to review a couple of articles that I found interesting. First article comes from Breitbart.com. This one was written by Christina Wong uh, on July 4th of this year, which was yesterday. Article reads, Maxine Waters criticizes Declaration of Independence on 4th of July. House Financial Services Committee Chairwoman Mad Maxine Waters criticized the Declaration of Independence in a tweet on July 4th, suggesting it is a racist document because it was written almost 250 years ago when there was slavery in the United States. Her tweet reads, July 4th, and so... The Declaration of Independence says all men are created equal. Equal to what? What men? Only white men? Isn't it something that they wrote this in 1776 when African Americans were enslaved? They weren't thinking about us then, but we're thinking about us now. You know, as as I read that tweet, I was just kind of shaking my head to that. While most of her Republican and Democrat colleagues in the House tweeted celebratory messages, she and several, several other African-American Democrats tweeted messages that highlighted racism in this country's history. Republican Cori Bush, a rep- I'm sorry, not Republican, but Representative Cory Bush, who's a Democrat in Missouri, said, the 4th of July is about freedom, quote, for white people. I don't know, but the last time I checked, I wasn't white, and uh, I'm also free. I don't know. I'm just saying. 
When they say that the 4th of July is about American freedom, remember this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The freedom they're referring referring to is for white people, she, re, she tweeted. This land is stolen land, and black people still aren't free. What? Oh my gosh, man. Where do they find these people? Representative Jamal Bowman, a Democrat from New York, also used the occasion to tweet about race. Let us reflect on the full story of American of America today. Black people were not freed in 1776, despite a system stacked against us. We must continue to use our collective oh, there's a keyword right there, collective power to change that system he tweeted. Collective that's a key word if you guys are not privy to communist words. Collective is a very, very, very um, key word when it comes to these communists. Well, I have, wow, that was a very short article. That was it. That was it. So... I had a very interesting discussion. I want to say a few hours ago because I don't know, it was like one o'clock in the morning that I um, that I, I I went on one of my friends' show on a, on a another platform that I I do live stream. Um, podcasts I would say I would call it a podcast and we had this discussion about racism and how all like oh not necessarily racism but it was more about Juneteenth because I I my mind is lost about Juneteenth I don't know anything about Juneteenth I didn't know the history of it I didn't know that it was supposed to be only a Texas thing, which is now spread throughout the whole country. Um, and I still don't know much about it. All I know is that it's celebrated and it, it's been celebrated in Texas for years because of the, um, the freeing of slaves. Um, so I had this interesting interesting discussion about all this race th- stuff. And um you know what I find interesting is that this whole thing with race I don't under okay, I, I, I don't understand why it has to be like why the past has to be brought up. Um, c- clearly we're not living in those times anymore. And I don't understand how these people of stature or high positions of power or even wealthy people. Uh, I mean, just look here. I mean, Maxine Waters, she's House Financial Services Committee Chairwoman. Like, how do you incorporate that with you being oppressed by racism? And not only that, my understanding is her husband owns a fucking bank. So I, I, I don't I don't know where these people come from to keep rehashing this thing and brainwashing people out there um, to call white people racist because <clears throat> we're not living in those times anymore. Are there people out there who don't like other people because of race? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are. I mean, I I can't confirm nor deny that there are people out there, but there there's going to be people that are like that. But that's very, very few and far-fetched only because of the times that we're living in. Here's a good example, too. 
look at the entertainment industry look at the music industry right look at the sports industry many of those people are black many of them a vast majority of them are <clears throat> especially when it comes to the um the athletic part of it like the sports if you look at a basketball team um <laughs> they're mostly black dude like and they get paid 100 at least at least for a bench player i think they make at least hundreds of thousands and i'm talking six figures just for being a bench player you're pretty much just being a cheerleader and showing up to practice right um <laughs> how do you figure you're oppressed man uh shoot i want to i mean <clears throat> if making millions to you is being oppressed fuck sign me up sign me up because i'm working my tail off here I'm working in a job that one YouTube video clip may possibly destroy me forever. <clears throat> and um and you and you call yourself oppressed? Like you have athletes who also have these endorsements by you know, shoes and all sorts of stuff, you know? Uh, so that's extra money because you've built your brand because of the type of athlete you are. So I don't know. Uh, not to mention all the girls you guys get. <laughs> Who is oppressed? I mean, is that is that your definition of oppression? And if you can't if you can't see through the bullshit. Then I, you probably have bigger problems. You probably have bigger problems if you can't, because you won't be able. If you can't figure out that this is all BS, you probably don't know your left hand from your right hand, because it's out there, dude. This is ridiculous. This is all ridiculous, and and the reason why they do this is to divide people. They they, you know, the history of the whole world isn't pretty. It's not. Definitely the history of America wasn't pretty. Nothing really is in the beginning. Everything is difficult in the beginning. Everything is hard. You, you know, and, and t you know, as time goes on, time changes. Rules are made up to protect people. Right? I don't know. That's like I was, you know, I've, I've, I've said this multiple times in my podcast that I've I was a horrible student. But for some odd reason, after getting out of the public school system, I started educating myself with many things and started um, putting common sense together in my head. And no, this country is not experiencing, you know, if, if anything, it's racism on the other side. They are oppressing white people for just being white. They're telling white people to hate themselves just for being white. That's racism. That is racism. So, if you guys are looking for the boogeyman, you have uh, not that far to look but the mirror in front of you. If you keep pushing this stuff out about the white man being oppressive to you. Because last I checked, you guys are in a position of power. You guys are in a position of, of wealth. <sighs> Maxine Waters, House Financial Services Committee Chairwoman. Really? And this 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 other person right here, Cory Bush. Cory Bush. What what's Cory Bush? Representative Cory Bush, a Democrat of Missouri, right? Wow, that's really racist, isn't it? Because you can only get in positions that way through racism. That's just stupid, man. And then we got this. We got this other dude right here, Jamal Bauman, right? Representative 
uh, a Democrat representative of New York. Where's the oppression, dude? Where? Show me. Please show me. You guys have positions of power. You're freaking leaders of your district, dude. <laughs> leaders, not oppressed. You're leaders. I don't know. You know, and if people can't see through that, like I said, you don't know your left hand from your right. You don't. I'm sorry. Um, you allowed yourself to be easily fooled by these people. Um, it's so sad that, you know, the media and people like this perpetuate this shit. It's, it's sad. Because I, I think people, uh, I think you're holding people in a low regard. I, I honestly think that there's more, I think there's people, people are better out there than, than, Living their life thinking, oh, I don't like you because you're you're this color. Your skin color is this. It's it's ridiculous, man. It really is. So that was my take on this article. I mean, I I I don't really like to touch on the race thing because it's just it's been blown out of proportion, right? Uh, we're not living in those times anymore, man. I don't see any Ku Klux Klan members, uh, you know, in my neighborhood. Where I don't see the white hoods in my neighborhood. <clears throat> the white wearing hoods in my neighborhood. I don't see that. I don't see anybody with pillowcases over their heads. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, they... they they do this for a reason. They do this to destroy the country from within. I don't, and I, I don't understand. Why do you hate this country so much? Why? Why do you perpetuate something that's not even, I don't know. It's, it's almost non-existent. It's almost, I want to say almost, you know. And if you, if, if you want to, if you want to look, if you want to dig deep, you don't, you can't, I mean, there's, you don't have to dig that deep. Look at, look at a lot of these people, man. I, I've, like I said earlier, <clears throat> the entertainment industry, right? M music industry and, and athletics, <laughs> especially the athletics part, man. They're getting paid. They're getting paid for what they do. Okay. They're not being forced to do that. They're getting paid for it. So that's my reaction to the first article that I read. Man, I took 15 and a half minutes for that. So we're going to take a break. <clears throat> we're going to uh, we're going to review an interesting article, another article, which I thought was very interesting to uh, from a from a news source here um, that I can't confirm if it's true or not. So we'll be back. We'll be back. And we are back from the break. Okay, so this next news article comes from realrawnews.com. And I've said before, every time I've ref uh, referred to this website for their articles, that I have no way of finding out if, if, if there's any sauce to all this stuff. I'm just reading something here that I think is a very interesting topic of discussion, right? Because myself, I can't confirm. You know, I can't confirm this stuff. I cannot. Um, I just read this stuff and I give my reaction to it. Um, some of these things that I read from this, actually, all the stuff that I've read from this website, I hope it's true. I really do hope. It's true, but only time will tell if all of this has ha, has come and gone, or is happening. Right? Only time will tell, or maybe not, or maybe not. But nonetheless, interesting topic of discussions. So this article was written by Michael Baxter on July fourth. And uh, man, if this is true, 
what what a present to have for the country, man, on its birthday, right? Article reads, Adam Schiff convicted of treason. On Thursday, July 1st, a military tribunal at Guantanamo Bay convicted chair of the House Intelligence Committee, <laughs> Adam Schiff. I, I laughed because um, his position, right? In his committee. Um, let me start this all over again because I, I thought that was so funny. thought that was so funny, man. On July, on Thursday, July 1st, a military tribunal at Guantanamo Bay convicted chair of the House Intelligence Committee, <clears throat> excuse me, Adam Schiff, on charges of treason and espionage after hearing evidence that linked the Weasley, Weasley worm <laughs> to a Chinese uh, sponsored plot aimed at impeaching the most patriotic president to have ever sat in the Oval Office. Very true. I'll, I'll, I was going to say something about this guy, the Schiff, but I'll keep reading and then I'll give my two cents on this dude. In July 2019, Schiff grossly distorted and wildly mischaracterized, that's an understatement, wildly mischaracterized Trump's telephone call with Ukrainian President v Volodymyr Zelensky. In which he in which he is alleged to have withheld U.S. aid in return for an investigation into Hunter Biden. Both Trump and Zelensky refuted the allegations, but Schiff abused his authority in pressing Congress to move forward with an impeachment inquiry against Donald Trump. In September 2019, the U.S. Navy Judge Advocate General's Corps. Uh, launched an investigation to determine whether Schiff's actions violated House rules, whether his grievances were constitutional. I bet not. JAG's six-month investigation proved that Schiff, like most deep state operatives, had an unremitting addiction to opulence and happily accepted bribes in exchange for aiding enemies of the United States. When such actions aligned with his personal goals, um, when did these Congress people not have their quote personal goals? Is my question. Jag and the Office of M Military Commissions uh, acquired evidence linking shift to a Chinese plot meant to dispose. No, I'm sorry, depose, <laughs> dispose. Well, yeah, that too, I think. Uh, meant to depose Donald J. Trump. Specifically, Schiff has received, quotes, gifts from a Chinese businessman named Li Wei. Wei was a senior executive at Bohai Harvest RST Shanghai Equity Investment Fund Management Company, the very company Hunter Biden owns 10% of. The gifts uh, included are wait, the gifts included a rare 1954 Baudi Rolex. Wow, valued at five million, and a Bugatti Chiron per sport worth approximately three million. Dude, so you're telling me that the watch costs more than the car? <laughs> wow, dude. The later of which he. Surpetitiously auctioned at Soth Sotheby's. The Office of Military Commissions claims Schiff blatantly violated the gifts rule, do you think, of the House Ethics Committee, which forbids federal employees from accepting gifts for favors and requires that any item valued at over $166 to be reported to the state department dude that's way above that that's way above that a hundred dude anything they shouldn't get anything even that 166 bucks is pretty high for um quote gift uh, i'm just saying 
you can buy a good bottle of bourbon or whiskey under a hundred bucks or scotch. You know, I'm just, I'm just saying. This evidence in part led to Schiff's May 24th arrest and subsequent trip to Guantanamo Bay. His Thursday tribunal lasted only two hours with Vice Admin John G. Hannick calling, is that Admiral with Vice Admiral? I, I, you know, I don't know. It's ADM. I, I can't read these things. It's either going to be Admiral, Admiral or a, Admin. I don't know. We'll just call it Admin. Admin. Yeah, I like that. Vice Admin because it's ADM period with the acronym. So we'll just call it Admin. Calling on the three officer panel to convict Shift, who appeared without counsel of high treason. Shift's greed compounded by his seething hatred of Donald Trump let him down a path of treasonous behavior. He is weak and malleable, and he did knowingly betray his oath of office in hopes of making money and staging a tacit Taste, taste, what? Tactic, tac, ta, tacit, tacit. Oh my gosh, I can't read. Tacit coup against the elected president of the United States. Certainly, others must have known he received these gifts and who they came from. But that's, the, but that was swept under the rug by a deep state desperate uh, to remove Trump from office. Schiff used aliases and proxies to launder many of his ill-gotten presents. But there's always a trail, Vice Admin Hannock told the panel. Asked to answer for his crimes, Schiff admitted he should have declined the gifts, but said they were, quote, above board and bore no revel- relevance to his association with China, Li Wei, Li Wai, I don't know, he spelled it two different ways, Joseph Biden or Hunter Biden. Of course I know these people, Schiff said, but Wei is a friend of mine who, sh- who struck good fortune and shared some of that with me, his friend. It had nothing to do with Trump. I have loyal, loyally served this nation for what? For many years and don't recognize this tribunal's authority over me. Oh, really? You're probably going to see that in your execution, dude. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. You can you can go play that stuff in your head that you don't recognize that as a tribu- the tribunal's authority. But you'll sure as hell recognize it as soon as you're right there, right about to get executed. I guess that's when reality will hit hit you. And by that time, it'll be too late. Bye-bye, Schiff. Vice Admin Hannock, as he had at previous tribunals, pulled the proverbial rabbit from a magic hat via teleconference. Schiff's wife, Eve, appeared on a video screen to testify against her husband, Oh, gut punch. That must hurt. How's it feel? How's it feel be, to be betrayed there, shifty shift? How's that feel? Because the American people have been feeling that like that for years and years and years. How's that? She told the tribunal that Schiff has accepted 20 million in gifts and incentives to wage war against Donald Trump. Dude, 20 million. I mean, uh, wow. She was able to produce receipts. Oh, gosh. She was able to produce receipts and ledgers. Bro, you are effed. As well as personal correspondence between Schiff and Hunter, Hunter Biden. Proving Schiff's payouts were meant as compensation for trying to dethrone Trump. The documents you see on screen, we have copies of, Vice Admin Hannock said, and passed the incriminating paperwork to the panel. Mrs. Schiff, have you in any way been 
coerced or compensated to give testimony against your husband? <clears throat> Here we go. What did she say? I have not, Eve Schiff said. I was tired of the abuse. I'm glad this is finally over. I was tired of the lies, the manipulation, the evil that per pervaded our home. Adam was never happy with a government salary. He was telling me how he hoped to get rid of Trump and get rich at the same time. You're getting away. You're getting what you deserve, Adam. She did. Oh, gosh. She addressed her husband personally and the screen winked off. Damn. Can you see? Can you visualize that in your head? Visualize that, man. Oh, that's worse than getting served freaking divorce papers, dude. Not that I've ever experienced that, but I'm pretty sure that, um, man. Shortly thereafter, the three officers weighing the military's case found Schiff guilty and recommended he receive capital punishment for his crimes against America. Vice Admin Hannick concurred and scheduled Schiff's execution for August 13th. Once again, this article was written by Michael Baxter of RealRawNews.com. And it was uh, written or published rather on July 4th of this year, which was yesterday. <laughs> I don't know, people. So what do you think, man? Um, I can, dude, I can, that last part right there where the video prompts up and she's ratting her freaking husband out and, and uh, you know, I can still see that stupid look on Schiff's face with his eyes bugging out. I can see, I can so see that, right? I can see that. Can you see that? Because I can see that. And then to freaking end that video um, by saying by saying that kind of stuff, <laughs> and it just shuts off. Gut punch, dude. Boo yeah. Right below the belt, dude. Oh. Wow. Wow. This dude is, is he's he's so in denial, dude. He's he's <clears throat> he's gone to the point with his lies that he just his whole life is a lie, dude. Can you imagine that? I mean, where you live a life where you just lie, lie, lie and then it it just becomes natural for you to lie. Like you can't face truth anymore. You make your own realities, which is kind of that's that's strange. That takes some um, mental gymnastics, man. Like, how do you even remember some of your lies, dude? How do you even remember some of your lies? I don't know. I don't know. Um. I was going to say something earlier about this dude, but I forgot. I forgot what I was going to say. I forgot. But dude, oh, a Rolex watch that costs more than a car. Five million for that freaking Rolex, dude. And three million for a Bugatti. That is nuts. It's nuts, dude. That's that Chinese money, though, man. Where do these people get their money? Where do they... Dude, it ain't hard work, man. That's bullshit. That ain't hard work, dude. There's some nefarious stuff going on with Chinese money, dude. I'm just saying, man. Especially when they come to America and start buying houses or properties left and right with cash. Where does that come from, dude? Like, who does that? Where does that come from? The Chinese government? Possibly. Possibly. I don't know. Uh, it's just it's just a wondering thing that I think about. Like, where do they get this money from? I don't know. No clue. So, 
interesting article, man. Like I said, I have no sauce to this stuff in real raw news. Um, I was reading some of the comments down here earlier. Um, I didn't read the article. I, I read the comments and I thought, I thought to myself, okay, there's an ar- the people are arguing here about the validity of, of, of the news and they're questioning it, which is good, right? It's healthy to question things. Uh, without questioning things, we wouldn't be, a lot of us wouldn't be in the position of where we are at right now as far as thinking what's wrong with this country, right? That stemmed off from from figuring out that there was something wrong to begin with, you know, questioning, which is, it's it's always healthy to question stuff. Especially when it comes to authority, because you don't know if, you know, what they're doing is for personal gain or if it's really how it's supposed to be or there's nothing wrong with that. It's okay to question, but, you know, some of the comments that I was reading down here, you know, it's, it's very difficult to put stuff like this set in stone as truth. It's very difficult. It's, it is. <clears throat> there were good points made on both sides with people who do believe this stuff and for people who are kind of on the fence with it. <clears throat> There's good arguments for it. And, you know, I, I, I think as a free society, we shouldn't, we shouldn't, <clears throat> we shouldn't berate anybody who has questions about things. Um, If it's a blatant disrespect, yes, I get it. But, some of some of the people who are questioning these things have legitimate questions about them you know um and and on and the other side's point they were pointing out that the reporter wouldn't put these people's like vice admin hannick he wouldn't put his name out there without any repercussion right he would put his name out there and that's a valid point to make on 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 the side that that believes that this is you know, true. Believe me, a lot of uh, patriotic Americans want to believe this is true. We do. We all do. Because we all, we all think that all these people should pay for their crimes. For messing this whole country up. Absolutely, we all hope this is true. So, don't get angry when somebody is on the fence about it. You know, um... Let them have their own opinion and let let them let them hash that out. And time, if it, if this is true, time will tell. Time will tell. Um, it may not be right away, but just give it time. And you know, as time goes by and these people are convicted or even executed for their crimes, it will eventually come out. It, it will it will eventually come out. And it's okay to be on the fence with these kind of things. I'm on the fence of, with these kind of things. You know, I don't, I don't, uh, I, I, I can't put my, uh, I can't put a hundred percent on this stuff. I don't, I, I can't. Uh, part of that too is because I'm reading this stuff to you people and I don't want you to believe that this is, you know, if, if, if like, I, I always give the disclaimer of saying that I, I have no way of validating if this is true. I, I always have that disclaimer. I always think that this stuff is interesting uh, topics of discussion and I'm on the fence about it. Like I can't, I don't know for sure, but this is, this is something I do fantasize about, right? For the, for the people who've destroyed this country to get punishment. I do fantasize about that. Who doesn't? What patriotic uh, American doesn't fantasize about that? So yeah, that's my thoughts on um, this article. And yet another day down, yet another day down as the rain is pouring outside of my my place here in the great state of Texas. I had fun. I have to admit, I had fun reviewing this article as well as the other one. I mean, when it comes to the whole race thing, I I, I hate talking about it because it it almost feels as if... It almost feels as if um, we got to re like bring it up again, 
Well, it's kind of that saying of why you got to bring up old stuff, old ish, you know, like I'm not trying to bring up old ish. It's those people trying to bring up old ish and trying to keep it there. Like society <clears throat> as a society, we have to, we have to like advance. We can't stay in one spot as, as humanity evolves. We can't stay in one spot. Because we'll never make improvements on ourselves or we'll never make improvements of this country. And and, and sometimes we just got to keep going forward. You know, we can't, we can't hold the past down to anchor us down. But we do hold the past in order for us to learn things from the past. And that's the only reason why the past is, is a very uh, important uh, thing to learn about. Not to make yourself a victim, but to make sure that we don't make those same mistakes again. And press on forward to the future. You know. I have great. I have great. You know. It, let, me, let me. Let me. Let me word it this way. If people are able. To set that pass free. As as far as an anchor goes. And if they use the past. As, as a learning tool. To advance themselves going forward. We, you know. Us as. A, the human race it would be unstoppable it will be unstoppable but you're gonna have people like like um waters maxine waters and i i guarantee you i almost can guarantee that this bitch right here she doesn't believe this shit she doesn't believe this shit that she says she does not believe that shit she's using that to divide people she's using that to destroy destroy everyone like destroy um, having these relationships with other people. She's socially destroying um, this country with that because her agenda is is ultimately for herself. She's looking out for herself at the end of all this and it has nothing to do with this, her skin color. It's just an easy thing for her to pick because she's a she's um, she's black and she's a woman. It's easy for her to choose that and people get easily fooled into that. And I don't understand why they do. I really don't. Are people's minds really that weak that they 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 can't think for themselves? Like they can't discern things? I don't know. Um I'm not a bright person. I'm not. But what I do have is I have a free thinking mind and I do have common sense. So that that kind of separates me from people who and it baffles me too because a lot of these people who 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 fall into this have degrees. They're college people. They have master's degrees, they have um doctorate degrees. And it baffles. It really does. It it does baffle me cuz I I don't have a degree. I don't brainwashed into that stuff in 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 what they teach in colleges. <laughs> I don't buy it, man. I don't buy it. But anyways, I had fun talking to you guys today. And I really hope that uh, you guys catch me on my live um, streams out in uh, the foxhole.app or pill.net. Where uh, I do live shows on Sundays. Yes, siree. I do. Um, I, I, I would encourage you guys to check that out. You know. Um, these recorded shows are cool because, uh, I don't know, uh, there's no live audience chatting me up, um, and tell me things. Uh, I kind of have to go off the dome of my, uh, the, the top of my head to talk to you, uh, through the microphone, kind of like freestyle rapping. I suck at rapping. So yeah, I would encourage you guys to check out those, um, those, um, platforms as a matter of fact i really think that foxhole dot the fo the foxhole dot app i should add um it's going to be the next platform out there that's going to be huge i think i honestly think because there are a bunch of different content creators out there you're not censored so far i haven't really seen any kind of censorship i mean it's just like basic life dude like goes back to the golden rule do unto others as they have done unto you 
Like, if you treat me re- with respect, I'll treat you with respect. You know, life should be lived that simply. It should. It really should. It should. So I would highly encourage, yes, uh, check that app out. And check out my live uh, streams uh, uh, every Sunday. So far, it's every Sunday. And I hope to bump that up um, someday uh, to like, I don't know, three three or four live shows a week when I decide to do this full time. And th- that time is coming very soon. It's coming very soon. Um. And of course, um, I'm going to ask all you people out there to, of course, support me, um, whether you like, share, subscribe, or even give any kind of donations to the show would greatly be appreciated. On Or, or you can even buy merchandise on my store. Um, all the links are on the, the description box. Yes, I am plugging myself and I'm not in this to get rich. I'm not in this to get rich. I'm in this just to make it just enough for me to get by life. That's it. I, I just want to be able to, to, you know, pursue this part of my life. I think, I think podcasting has opened up a new chapter in my book, my book of life. And I honestly think that God has called me to do this. And in order for me to do this, I, you know, I, I, I'm going to need support of the people who believe in what I do, who believe in what I do. And, uh, like I said, th- this has nothing to do with me getting rich because there's no way I'm going to be rich doing this. I'm not going to be, uh, another Joe Rogan or anything. I don't think I'm, nah, I'm not, no, I'm nowhere near that. I'm not even a spectacle of what he is or Anybody who ha- who is a popular podcaster out there, I'm nowhere near that. I'm just me. I'm just me. So, you know, um, what you hear with me on the microphone, on your speakers or your earbuds or your headphones or whatever you're listening to, this is the same person that you'll ever... I'm the same way when you meet me in person. I'm. This is just how I am. I don't know how to be fake. Um, I, this is just me. So, you know, hopefully this is all I need for you guys to get your support. And, um, you know, maybe if, if I'm able to go to these um, patriotic events, maybe we can meet. I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell. And, <clears throat> you know, um, hopefully I'll be able to do uh, videos while making the cocktails because I think that I think that that would be the coolest part of uh, my content creation is to make videos of me actually pouring, you know, making the cocktails and doing the podcast at my bar. Eventually, that's where I want to get to eventually. But I'm holding back because of my current employment um, situation. But that can all change, of course, with everybody's help out there. So I think I've blew out enough hot air (laughs) out of my mouth and um, I'm going to let you guys go. So as I end every show, with that being said, the bar is now closed. It's more than a passing notion I've never fallen with such devotion I can't help but wonder If it's only a dream Am I naive or can Believe that things are really as they seem. Can anyone explain it? 
how to understand what's true. I know I just can't take it whenever I. I can't help but wonder if you wonder about me, 'cause lately I can't help but wonder how wonderful this might be. Can anyone explain it? How to understand what's true? I know I just can't take it. Whenever I. Cause lately I can't help but wonder how wonderful this might be. Cause lately I can't help but wonder how wonderful this might.